With the crafting add-on for the Vector third-person controller, you can expand the usage of our item manager and inventory system to allow combining multiple items into creating new ones. In the crafting demo scene included in the package, you will find these empty bottles and some colored mushrooms. Let's collect them and see what happens in-game. Open your inventory and go to the items window. You can see a new category called crafting materials, which by the way is just an example. You can combine any type of items such as consumables, weapons, ammunition, etc. Now go to the crafting menu and this window will read through your item list data and identify any items that are craftable and what are the crafting materials necessary to create it. We already collected the necessary crafting materials, so hold the crafting button to create this new item. Good, now let's see how we can set up this crafting system into a custom controller and a custom inventory. If you open up the crafting documentation, it says that after importing the inventory crafting add-on, your item list data will have a new button called Items to Craft. So let's take a look at this button. This means that every item in your list can be craftable, but to appear in the crafting window, you must add at least one item to do so. And you can add as many items and amounts you need. Now let's see how to set up this feature into an inventory that doesn't have the craft window. I will use the default prefab that comes with the melee combat for this. Now the easiest way to do that is to simply duplicate my current crafting window from the craft inventory and move it to my new inventory. You can always customize the design later, but it is important to have a solid base to start with. Now, following up the documentation, it says that we also need to add another button in the top menu game object. You can duplicate one of the existing buttons and change the text. Now, select the top menu game object again and make sure to include the, that button that we just created in the button list at the toolbar selector component. We also need to assign the crafting window to be the target window of this button. Now that we have the crafting window and the top menu button to access it, you need to update your item window to also display the item type crafting materials. Our character's item manager component is using a different item list data from the collectibles. So if I would collect this item, nothing would happen because I don't have it on my item list data. To add an item from a different item list data to my list, open your item list and click the button Add Items. Now select the item list data of the items you want to transfer and click on Show Items in Hierarchy. Select the items you want and drag and drop to the space called Drag Your Items. Cool, now that we've learned how to transfer items from one list to another, we can set up an item from this list to use the crafting materials. So let's take the potion item and add, and add the red mushroom and the empty bottle. Again, you can use any item type you want, doesn't need to be a crafting material. Now that we set up the inventory and item list data, we need to update our collectible to also use the same item list data as our controller is using. So I can collect the correct item. Select your item collectible and change the item list data. And, and also don't forget to update the item. Cool, now let's see if it works.